Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Oh, I can hear myself in here. I'm a little bit too loud. Let's get back out here. So, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about... Well, actually, we're not going to be talking too much. We're just going to be taking a little walking tour of uh, Parque Santa Ana, the church, and walking through Paseo Montejo, starting from the prolongación of Paseo Montejo, which is just the beginning of Paseo Montejo. Um, yeah, you know, I came out here um, honestly because I wanted to check something out at the park. I already checked it out. I was like, I brought my camera. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm going to be at the beginning of Paseo Montejo. Let me just give you guys a bit of a walking tour and uh, show you guys around a little more. So as you guys can see right behind me, awesome, beautiful church uh, built. I don't know when it was built built a long time ago Look, we got helicopters by the way there's been a lot of helicopters i don't know you could probably not see them there but before when i first moved here i would very rarely hear a helicopter or or planes or anything like that but in recent uh i want to say months i hear a lot of helicopters out here a lot of helicopters which remind me of back home you know a lot of military helicopters but i'm just gonna we're gonna you know just assume that they're regular civilian helicopters but anyways so right now we're at Calle 45, okay? And this is the beginning of Parque Santana and we're gonna go through here. But before we do, um, as you guys can see, it's cobblestone streets. Um, and um, you guys probably can't see it through here, but all along the side of both of these streets, on the right and on the left, you're gonna, you know, there are art galleries. So a lot of times when they close off these streets at night, or do all kinds of whatever in um, in order to do art events you know um, there's a lot of art galleries on this side a lot of art galleries on this side and they're everywhere and there's even more there's even more being built you know there's a nice restaurant here you can see me um, you know another art gallery maybe you can see there hopefully you can and uh, another art gallery you know they're everywhere And this is the, the thing that I was telling you about. You know, they do this every once in a while. And what this is, is that, again, it's a Friday, Saturday nights. They close the weekend. And it's a whole art um, extravaganza all over the place. But as you guys can see, you know, it, it's all, um, you know, we, we're, we're surrounded by the new and the old constantly around here. So again, you know, um, we have buildings that are, you know, how old is this church? God knows how old, you know? many hundreds of years old and then we got brand new you know things opening up like the galleries or restaurants you know you see buildings getting renovated all the time you see that green place right there you know that place all the freaking time gets uh, opened up and used um you know for all kinds of events i've seen concerts in there i've seen exhibitions in there i've seen all kinds of things in there and um as you guys can see you know things are getting uh re you know uh re or whatever you know uh but yeah you know eventually all these other things are going to look really nice and beautiful and who knows what's going to happen you know what they're going to do here maybe it's going to be like a large uh you know um art situation here it might be a bunch of stores it might who knows but you know what as soon as they built it and get it ready i will you know go through it together you know we'll go visit it so anyways this is the Parque santana famous Parque santana i'm sure you guys have seen me walking through here a bunch of times but actually what I came here to see before I started filming was because usually um, they close this off for events and festivals and I was here a couple days ago thinking, you know, and I saw that they had like all this, you know, full of uh, kiosk and full of tents and full of everything thinking and I started thinking to myself, oh, okay, the, the Oaxaca festival is back, you know, because that's the next festival. But um, as I show up today on August 1st, it's gone. So yeah, I guess that was from last month. But again, last month, if you guys remember, I was uh, you know having uh, knee problems and leg problems and have family and so many things. So regardless, I, I couldn't visit, which sucks. But I, I have been to the Oaxaca Festival before, and it's awesome. All right, so let's just take a walk through the park. So and this park is not too far from my house. So you know, out here, you know, again, this is just like a little central park. But we're just gonna walk through here a little bit. And enjoy the sights you know you see a little birdies everywhere there's a fountain um, you know there's people sitting everywhere you know just enjoying the the hot Sun or or trying to get away from the hot Sun you know uh, you know to be more specific to be more accurate but um yeah so there's the church there you know there's older buildings there there's like uh, an English library back there there's all kinds of cool stuff 
you know, we got the fountain here. But, you know, the birds got the idea. You know, they got the right idea. You know, getting in that water. And as you guys can see, you know, families gather here. It's very family oriented. And, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, a lot of times, you know, you think they're tourists and they're not. It's just locals hanging out, enjoying the day. So, you know, um, as you guys can see, you know, these things right here that are all over Yucatan, all over Medina, Mexico. These things are very typical to here. They are literally um, like for chaperoning. So, I mean, like this is like uh, what they would. This is so hot sitting on here. But anyway, so you would sit here with your date and then this thing would separate you guys you know what i mean it's like a built-in chaperone type of thing so that's what we got there and then over there we got restaurants so for all you guys that are first first time whoa almost tripped there on a hole um uh i, I was thinking of the nine inch nails song what was it tripping on a hole in a paper heart or something i don't know is that even nine inch nails? I don't know. the point is that uh watch where you're walking but behind me is um well all this is Padque Santa Ana but behind me is the restaurants of Padque Santa Ana the local restaurants so if you're here visiting for like the first time if you guys are here visiting you know yeah most likely the first time and you are in your taxi or uber and ask them hey what's like the best place to eat um somewhere that's open late somewhere that is very authentic and typical and all this stuff you're always going to hear oh you got to go to Padque Santa Ana and this is where they're going to go now I've already been living here for a while, so I know that there's even more authentic places and better places around, but for all you guys out there for the first time ever, this is a highly recommended place, again, even by me. It's not just like a tourist trap or, you know, where every taxi or every whatever brings you here, so you start thinking to yourself, hmm, is this really the right place? But no, yeah, honestly, it is. It's awesome. So, you know, all these places are awesome, all types of different restaurants, and uh, yeah, I used to come here all the time until, well, I didn't because now I go to all kinds of other different places, but... You know, as you guys can see, there's all kinds of awesomeness always here. So, usually as you walk up to here, they start, you know, hounding you to come and eat and stuff like that. Hopefully, they haven't said anything yet. Uh, no, no, todavía, gracias. Um, but usually, that's what they do. You know what I mean? You know, um, you see everything's set up. And um, these, all these guys, you know, some of these guys that are standing up work here. And as people walk through here, they start hounding people. You know, like, hey, come, by, come eat here. Eat at this one. Eat at this one. There's a bunch of them. But again, you know, we're going to go down and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more. So you guys aren't so intimidated when you come visit here. But again, you know, you literally just talk to one of these waiters. You sit down at one of these places and uh, look, they got all the... Look, they even opened up a few more places. You know what? Let's just take a quick walk through here, okay? Look, these are the people that sell stuff. They're all just... No, no, muchas gracias. So we just take a quick walk, you know, so you can just uh, see what's up. covers it right there that's like the little Padque Santa Ana place so again you know we're like again you know right in tourist central right there's Paseo Montejo we're gonna go explore that in a minute all right sorry I had to put in some music um, from another artist there and uh, I couldn't let you guys hear the sounds of the market because they were playing salsa music which uh, again you know it's like listening to like Jay-Z or what have you, you know what I mean it's uh, very you know the algorithm will pick it up immediately but anyways so again, there's the park, you know, we're walking through here and uh, see, look, that guy sells uh, fermented pineapple stuff. He got that store, you know, we got stores over there that just sell things from paint all the way from uh, to professional services, you know, selling um, art supplies to this guy making a lot of fucking noise to this guy selling a uh, pineapple drink. So the pineapple drink, man, this guy's so fucking loud. So anyways, the fucking pineapple drink is uh, basically fermented pineapple juice and it has a little bit of alcohol in it. But anyways, yeah, that guy just strolls around neighborhoods and sells that stuff. So there you go. Look at that. We got another touristy bus. Look at that. That's right. That's right. 
So, as you guys can see, you know, there's all kinds of cool stuff here, all right? So, and a lot of these stores are new, so they got everything from coffee, you know, artisanal coffee to, you know, artisanal products, you know, to selling beer and alcohol, to selling more stuff, to a store that's closed right now, to a bathroom. You know, if you guys ever need a bathroom, you know, a lot of places will let you use the bathroom for 25 cents. And so that's that. So, um, it's like Chinese food here. Um, what else we got here? Another restaurant, another restaurant, um, a bakery. This is the bakery I go to sometimes. You got more artisanal. So this is, remember the Paque Santana where they sell the food and stuff like that. And then we got little stores over there, you know, more artisanal stores and stuff like that. But this is, this is the place to come. This is the place, all right? Um, as a tourist, this is it right here. This area, this is one of the places. There's a lot of places, but this is one of the main places where you're probably gonna come. By the way, I haven't been here yet, but I keep hearing amazing things about this place. Well, I'm gonna bring my girl here, all right? This place right here, and the restaurant is this and here. And the reason that I gotta come here is because I've seen other YouTubers recently, you know, come check this place out. So now we gotta check it out, and it's right by the house. And, the, and you know, there was a restaurant that was right here that was here for like a month, and it was awesome, and then they closed down, and it sucks. Um, but hey, whatever, you know, that, that is the, the life of the restaurant business, you know, that happens all the time, no matter where. Um, you got a little gas station with a little 7-Eleven over there. You know, over there is the Instituto, Instituto de Gastronomia Isma. So literally what that translates to is that that's a culinary school over, over there. Literally, that's a culinary school. Pretty cool, huh? Um, yeah. Let's see, let's cross the street here and not get run over. So now we're on our way to Paseo Montejo. So as you guys can see right there was the park of Parque Santa Ana. And look at this where we're at. Maybe like a block or two. And that's the prolongación of, uh, of what you might call it, of Paseo Montejo, okay? That's prolongación of Paseo Montejo, right over here. And uh, you know, right here is where Paseo Montejo either begins or ends, depending on how you're looking at it. But right here is where Paseo Montejo begins and ends and uh yeah i just want to show you guys a little more all these are next to me are restaurants 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 you know all kinds of little cafes but again the thing is and now you know we're in the touristy area so if you if you want like cheap prices you go to Paque santana and eat from one of those stalls if you want to pay tourist prices and you come to one of these restaurants and pay look at that that's expensive for a fucking uh, breakfast buffet but hey you know what i mean you can get huevos motulenos literally at that place that I just showed you with the upstairs. That's breakfast there. And that's just gonna cost you a hundred pesos for super authentic, amazing, awesome food. But if you wanna do the touristy thing and, and, uh, and get a fucking breakfast buffet, look how much more you're gonna be paying for shit, for crap. So, you know, just to, you know, for you guys out there, I know most of you guys know what's up. But anyways, so this is Paseo Montejo. This is like the whole fucking thing. The map's all messed up, whatever. Um, all right. And then, as you guys can see, it's like a big roundabout. Man, it's gonna rain. I better hurry the fuck up. But I see, you can see the rain in the background, it's coming. So, and then this is like the little roundabout where things happen, and then this little street here, this little street, um, even though like uh, there's a lot of cars and people park here because obviously they're working, there's a big business district, it's not just touristy. Um, but out here, this whole area, um, on Fridays and Saturdays, they close all this off and they have like a stage and they close off all this right here and they have like a stage and they do stuff and on Sundays as well and then on uh, during winter which you're gonna see during Christmas they close this whole thing off like literally from here all the way down there like the, over a whole block and they close it all off for like Christmas stuff and they make this into a little Christmas park and it's like you know for people to walk and, and do all that stuff and then again through the weekends look how busy all this is, is. It's pretty busy where it's a uh, Thursday afternoon and yet um, all this gets closed off um, in order for people to in order for people to um, you know um, like it gets closed off on Friday nights well not so much on Friday nights but it gets closed off on yeah, some Friday nights but definitely on Saturday nights and definitely Sunday mornings a lot of this gets closed off now right over here is Cafe Impala which is like a restaurant that's been here for like a gazillion years um, I, there's another place over there like La Taverna. I don't know too much about. I know I'm getting off, uh, off, uh, what is it? I'm going off track here. Um, I gotta keep going that way. 
but I'm going this way. But anyways, I just wanted to show you this guy, this place right here. El Lucero de Alba. Hopefully you guys can see it. I gotta cross the street anyway, might as well show you. But this place is awesome. All right, look at that. Look at that. But why is El Lucero de Alba awesome? Because it's one of those places, it's one of those places where you can uh, come buy some beer and they bring you botanas, they bring you tapas, I guess, you know? Um, so what it is is that you just sit down, you order beer and they bring you free food. You can't beat that. And now we're gonna walk a little bit through Cafe Impala, okay? Which is, you know, one of the places that's been here for like a million years. And uh, it sounds like semi-Americanized food, but it's Mexico. And uh, I, I don't know if this belongs to this or that belongs to that. But regardless, all this area here is super crazy historic. And this is the place right here. As you guys can see, you can just tell it's historic as fuck, all right? And uh, it's pretty cool. Look at that. Cool, huh? And that, that right there used to be an HSBC. So as you guys can see, you know, you already know how I feel about banks. I'm not a big fan. But that's what, and then right behind that building is Paque Santana, which we were just at right now. So now we're gonna do a little bit more walking and talking uh, through Paseo Montejo. That was just a brief, a brief little um, tour of uh, the Paque Santana, the Pro Prolongación de Montejo. And now we're gonna keep walking down Paseo Montejo, which, uh, Man, the heat and humidity is really bad out today. Again, you know, it, it affects more the camera than it does me. But um, I just had to just stop real quick at one of these really these benches and just uh, cool off for a bit because, you know, you can get some shade and it's, it, it cuts the heat a little bit and uh, it helps. And uh, I didn't want to go too far down the path because I wanted to show you guys a little more of this area that I never really get to show you guys because I'm... Even though I'm around here a lot, sometimes a lot of times I don't have time to uh, to film. Look, more touristy stuff. So right across there, you can rent bicycles. So you know how they close these streets off, which you guys have seen many times. Um, that's one of the main places where you can rent bicycles, and you don't have to wait till Saturday or Sunday to rent the bicycles. You can go rent them right now and uh, use them for whatever. So you know, just FYI, in case you guys are out here on a Tuesday and you guys want to rent a bike and ride a bike, you can still do that. It's right, right by Prolongación de Paseo Montejo. So again, we're still only like, you know, again, you know, you can see the, the thing there. So we're not even like a block away, maybe, maybe a block away from where, you know, the filming stops. Over there is the two mansions, okay? This is, these are, this is one of the main attractions of this area here. These two mansions were built by the Spanish, you know, I don't know, 500 years ago. Each one has like 16 rooms and it's like, you know, they're two mansions and they're twins and they're next to each other. So, yeah, that's that and they're there. And, uh, you know, you can come visit them. Um, I think they're open to the public um, as tourist attraction, not quite sure. But hey, and then, you know, you'll see places like this, you know, and others around, you know, which are, you know, you know, these are just high end. Look at that for pets, all that good stuff. But, you know, these are just high end places, you know, for... Um, you know that you know these are just um, the older buildings that cannot be destroyed, and they they just get transformed into either a Starbucks, a hotel, a restaurant, you name it, all kinds of things like that, and they're just all over the place here. And again, you know we talk about this all the time as a thing that happens here all the time. So, you know, over here we got uh, newer buildings. I would say maybe from the 70s or God knows whatever. And um, you know here, you know again they got little restaurants. They got like um, office building, um, all kinds of, you know, it's like a Italian restaurant, all kinds of cool stuff. But here, yeah, here you go. Over there is the mansions, you know. I, I, I'm all the way over here on the other side of the street, so you guys can get a little bit more of a bird's eye view. Okay. And check out the mansions. Look how huge they are. So I'm pretty sure they're open to the public as tourist attractions, but don't quote me on that. I haven't been there yet, so I don't really know. I have no idea, but whatever. But in the distance, right next to it, so over there is like restaurants and other things like that. And then all the way over there is another, that's a that's a museum, That I've been in there before. So they've turned that into a ginormous like Mayan museum with a bunch of awesome Mayan stuff. And uh, that's that. And again, all these other buildings in between are now like it's a restaurant. I don't know what that is. 
they're converting that into something else and so on and so forth. they're gonna build a hotel there and shit like that and then you know you'll see this okay and things like that and then you know i don't know what the hell that is but again a lot of these places are um you know the bank or you know other government buildings and things like that look at the horses the horses you guys all love and all that good stuff so you know again guys you know i hope it, i hope that the wind isn't too bad or bothering you guys but i mean look how cool it is you know to see the wind and see the the palm trees swaying in the wind and right now i mean it was literally like a zillion degrees and now it's not it's like cooler it's still hot don't get me wrong it's still crazy hot but again it, it helps you know what i mean like the tropical weather here is nice very nice so you know we got the bank we got the museum over there which again i've been to and it's awesome and um i, I don't know how much it costs to get in i think it's only a few a few dollars you know maybe like 20 40 pesos or something like that um but a lot of times they open it for free they have a lot of events like that for free this is like some government building not quite sure like a, maybe a social security social whatever um another bank um you know again you already know about the banks you know they always get the best prime realty i don't know i wonder why i wonder where they get all that money to buy all this prime real estate anyway those museums right there and again they're open i don't know if they're open now i'm pretty sure they are but again a, a must see a must check out this building right here seems to be abandoned looking for an owner anyone out there that might be interested over here is really really good place uh, i've been in here already with my girl this is um una fabrica de chocolate literally so it's a chocolate factory so literally you you come in here you go in there and see if we can check it out a little bit i don't because i don't want to get hounded by the people but you know long story short you go in there all right you go in there Oh, hold on, hold on. No, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, pasado, yeah, yeah. Muchas gracias. See, look, that's the guy that works here. <laughs> and so, literally, you as as soon as you walk in, they 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 give you a tour, a free tour, a free chocolate tour. I don't want to go through the free chocolate tour because again, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. So when you guys come visit, um, you guys just go in there, get a free chocolate tour, and they sell you like super organic, 100% fucking chocolate like the best chocolate ever all right don't i mean it really is it's amazing stuff uh hennessy's you know for for you tourists out there that uh that miss american cuisine or um uh, irish pub food there's a bunch of these places around okay i haven't eaten any any one of these places i've only had a few drinks here and there whatever you know i, I don't miss i'm not i'm i'm not a i'm not irish or i'm not that kind of american so i don't miss any of that there so you know, we're just going to keep walking a little more to see how much more we can walk. Because about a block or two ahead, you guys have already seen everything from that point on. Um, you know, car rental, you know, a little store that sells all kinds of cool stuff, you know, touristy stuff. All right. Kombuchka. Look at that. Kombuchka. All right. That, that, that tells you a lot about how, how the neighborhood is changing, right? Look at that. Looks really cool store. Nice artisanal stuff or whatever um and all that and then over there you know again these are just office buildings and and uh, i think that's a police station i'm not quite sure this is a hotel a major hotel in fact this is like um this is like a really nice fancy hotel but if you guys really want to go to like the nicest fanciest fucking hotel there is go to go to the one right next door man it's crazy windy all of a sudden whoa anyways you go to the one next door hopefully you guys can still hear me rosas y chocolate been there many times i've told you about this place many times up there you know on the terrace on the weekends you know they have a live band and uh you know they play music and you get your drinks and you're you know overlooking paseo montejo you got a live jazz band or whatever playing and uh it's awesome it's great stuff great place man it's really windy i'm, I'm starting to think if i should go back home and then go to the market or what i, I don't want to get caught in the rain like the song but uh yeah let me see let me check out the let me check out the weather man i think i better just go i think i better go and if it rains i'll take a taxi back or something you know what i mean because i gotta go it just seems like it's just like rain as far as you can see but anyway this place right here definitely definitely um you know uh something that i recommend highly okay and not just me but a lot of people that come out here you know um recommend it and uh yeah it's awesome so anyways um as you guys can see they're building stuff over there they're rebuilding that over there as well 
you know so i don't know what the hell this is but it you know that seems like they're rebuilding that building might be an apartment building might be a hotel who the hell knows we'll find that together same as that over there over there they've already rebuilt shit they got like a really awesome italian restaurant really awesome coffee place um bank more banks these banks are everywhere huh and uh yeah you know what i mean like i think uh that should cover it um i don't want to you know keep you know uh, talking you know uh so much and showing you guys uh anymore because i feel like you from here from this point forward you guys have seen it all we're just gonna get to the end of the block and uh that's about it because i want to show you the best ice cream place in all of merida okay and uh this is not the original one the original one is in el centro but this is this place right here was the first place that i took my chris christian to okay so me and christian's first date was here at this place and if i were you guys i would not leave merida until i have at least come here to try it or the one in el centro it doesn't matter but this is el colon so helados colon okay and um yeah, it's not that many people here now, but there's still people here. And this place has been here for, God, a gazillion years. And um, it's it's amazing ice cream, amazing uh, everything, okay? So if I, were, if I were you guys, come check this place out, okay? Like I said, you know, for me, it holds this little special place in my heart because that's where I met my sweetheart. But besides that, the ice cream is amazing, the... the the sweets are amazing, everything, the whole experience is amazing and it really transport you back to a different time and era and um, again, you know, if uh, you guys really, 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 you know, want to check out Merida in its full force, these are the places I would check out if I were you. Alright, and that's about it, that's about it, I think I'm going to end it there because that's it, you know, you guys already know the rest of this path, you guys have already seen me walking down this path a gazillion times. I know, I know, as I was trying to end this video, um, I kept walking by a bunch of places playing lots of loud music. But hey, we made it, all right? We're almost there. So guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I wanna give a big shout out to all my patrons out there. I wanna give a shout out to everyone out there that supports the show, helps support me and Lambo, and keeps this whole thing going. Um, please feel free to check out my website, check out the store, check out all kinds of things. And uh, last but not least, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and please hit that bell icon, please stay awesome, and please wish me luck. I hope I don't get caught in the rain. Anyways, guys, I love you. Peace out, and I'll see you guys mañana. Thanks again for joining me, as always. And, oh, yeah, and don't forget to check out the sponsor at the end of the video. Bye. Hey, guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.